Okay, this is a tutorial uh, to show you how to forecast uh, using Gretel, to get the exact forecast using Gretel. So I'm going to open Gretel, and I'm going to open the data set we used this morning, the data set for life insurance. So I'm going to go fast through the first steps because you already know how to import. So open data, import, CSV, comma, uh, and then I'm going to open the data set life insurance. So I get the messages, the typical messages. I say no. And here I have these two categorical variables that have been coded 1, 2, 1, 2. Uh, okay, so I have my data set. And before I do any transformation of the variables, before I create the dummy variables, before I square H, I'm going to add two new observations. So suppose I want to run a regression, and after running the regression, I want to forecast uh, the cost of life insurance for two new persons, for which I have age, gender, and smokes, but I don't have the information about cost. So I'm going to use Gretel to uh, produce that forecast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take a look at the data sets. See, I have uh, 90 two observations. So I'm going to add two new observations to that data set. So I'm going to close here and I'm going to go to data and then add observations. So I'm going to add two new observations and then I go back to data set and you see that now I have 94 rows and the last two rows are empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, say produce a forecast for myself, 47, uh, gender, uh, male, obviously, uh, but male is one. So one. And smokes, I don't smoke, so I get two for smokes. Now let's say I want to forecast for a woman age 25, so gender smokes yes she's gonna smoke so it's gonna be a one here okay so notice uh, the two new observations they have all the information for the independent variables but we don't have the information for the dependent variable but we're gonna forecast those two observations so we're gonna click on this check and I'm gonna get this warning saying there are missing observations uh, the program means this too means uh, the dependent variables for observation 93 and 94. And that's fine. I'm going to say close. So I'm going to click, I'm going to close, and then I'm going to run my regression. Oh, but sorry. Before I run the regression, I'm going to create the dummies for gender and smokes. Uh, so go to add dummies for uh, this variable. And I'm going to leave out, uh, for gender, I'm going to leave out males. So I'm going to skip the lowest value. So I get my dummy variable for uh, females. Uh, female. And I'm going to do the same for smokes. Uh, data. Uh, add uh, dummies for the selected variable. And this time I'm just going to, I'm going to skip people who do not smoke. Uh, so I'm going to skip the highest value. So I have a new dummy variable for people who smoke. So edit attribute, I'm going to call it smoker, okay? So I have my dummy for uh, gender, I have my dummy for smoker. So I'm ready. Uh, I'm going to ignore the, the age square for a second. Uh, so I'm going to go to ordinary least squares, and then I'm going to uh, add cost, add age, add female, add smoker to the list of independent variables and then I'm going to run my progression. So I'm going to get the output that I got this morning. Age is positively related, I mean cost of insurance is positively related to age and to smoking but inversely related to being a woman. Now what I want to do is using this regression I want to forecast uh, what the cost of insurance is going to be for that, those two last observations that I have in my data set. So I'm going to go to analysis, I'm going to click forecast, and see uh, the program already knows that I have two observations at the end of the data set 
that do not have a value for cost. So it, take a, it takes a guess that we want to forecast that range. So we want to forecast from observation 93 to 94. That sounds uh, correct. So we're going to accept uh, the suggestion and we're going to click OK. So what do we get? We get, uh, notice, uh, we get our prediction for uh, for the last two observations. See the prediction here. This column is prediction. The third column is prediction. Then standard error, and then the last two columns is our uh, uh, the interval. So for me, the prediction, the point forecast would be $259. The standard error would be 57.96. These are exact standard errors. Uh, and the exact confidence interval, 95% confidence interval, goes from 144 to 375. Uh, so this is a man, age 47, who doesn't smoke. Uh, how about the woman, age 25, who smokes? Well, the prediction, the point prediction, is going to be minus 69. So there's something wrong with that prediction. Uh, the standard error is going to be 60. Uh, and then the, 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 the range, the 95% confidence interval goes from minus 189 to $50 for, uh, for insurance. So we have been able to produce uh, the exact confidence interval for the forecast for those two last observations. Uh, there's something nice here. I can add a new variable that contains this forecast. Uh, but I'm by clicking this. So add to the data set. And then if you check uh, the list of variables, I have a new new variable that contains the predictions, the point predictions for the last two observations. It also has predictions for the last for part 45 observations, but I'm, but I'm interested in 93 and 94. So those are my predictions. I'm going to stop the tutorial now.